Welcome back to K-Ratio's Week in Preview. I'm Kyle Littner, and I'm here today to provide actionable insight for the future, not recap the past. In this week's episode, it's mid-July, and the Great Freight Rally refuses to go away, which has serious implications for the entire freight industry. We'll break down what that means for you this week, but first, let's take a look at where the freight market currently stands. Confusing as it may sound, despite seasonality and uncertain economic times, the National Outbound Tender Volume Index in blue remains well beyond anything seen at this time in 2019 in purple or 2018 in green. These lofty numbers were only previously seen during the COVID restocking phase, but now they have become almost commonplace over the past six weeks. This type of volume at a time when most expect a pullback has resulted in national cancellations still above 16%, the peak seen for 2020 and the highest since 2018. I know volume comes back before capacity after a holiday, and I know it was road check week, but those factors don't matter with this level of volume. They only exacerbate the problem. That problem is national long haul rates in blue at the highest mark since the peak in 2018, further widening from this time in last year in purple and narrowing the gap for this time in 2018 in green. It's that last part that should serve notice to all. Rates are climbing at a time when they should be falling, even when compared to the bull year of 2018. I'll keep this brief as to the reasons behind this market resurgence, because they remain the same and because we need to get to the bigger item of the day. But both the latest retail sales report and Bank of America credit card purchases report show the U.S. consumer has an extreme hunger for finished goods, which means LA is going to continue to drive the market, and these long-haul implications for over-the-road freight will continue to disrupt the national supply chain and keep rates per mile elevated for the foreseeable future. With that out of the way, on to our big item to tackle. Take a look at a chart of average rate per miles for both contract blue and spot orange as reported by DAT. That's now a seven cent spread in from 20 cents last month and rapidly narrowing. That is a problem for both brokers and shippers alike. We are on the cusp of spot rates surpassing contract and possibly sooner rather than later given the level of volume right now. Once that occurs, all bets are off for freight since contract rates are not binding and 3PL margins have been under pressure for over a year. If you really want to hit the panic button, take a quick glance at the same chart but for reefer, and you'll see a spread of only three cents. Now, brokerages will work for free or even eat losses for a few weeks to keep a customer, but outside of a handful of digital brokerages, they're not in the business of losing money. Giving back loads has a tremendous snowballing effect that has the potential to send rates absurdly higher in a vicious compounding cycle. What does this mean for freight this week? Well, carriers will have their say with both loads and rates across much if not all of the country, as even now Chicago has double-digit cancellations, while Dallas and Harrisburg exceed 20%. Brokers, that means negative margins on your contract business, but that will be more than offset by the rise in spot activity and extremely high spot market rates. Shippers, I've been warning you about this for months now. The time is upon us. And though it isn't too late, your window of opportunity for securing your bottom line is rapidly closing. To stay up to date with everything freight, follow us on LinkedIn. Or for more information on how to protect your freight portfolio and margins from both the revenue and expense side, check us out at k-ratio.com. Please stay safe and thank you all for watching.